Good morning. Um, it is, let me see what time it is, um, 11.37 a.m. And you guys just saw me planning in my new planner. It's February, but I just now bought a planner for 2021. Don't judge me, you know, we're just, we're just getting there. I realized there's no mic on this, and so this is going to sound horrible. So let me fix that and try this again.
I feel the wind against my puzzled face. Five speed bicycle round the cape. Cobblestone pathways, memory lane. High tides rolling in to Portland, Maine, and I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone, and that's just fine. 'Cause I'm alone, I'm alone, I'm alone, lost in my mind. Change comes slow. But it's not so far away, so far away. Tangerine skyline, just past the. Here. So why is my confidence oceans from here? Send me a sailboat, take me to sea, tore the horizon line wherever it leads. Oh, change comes slow. It's not so far away. Change comes slow, they say, but it's not so far away. Oh, and I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. That that's okay. We're now heading towards the end of the video, but um, I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys if you guys are watching me um, paint this wonderful little rainbow I have going on here that's going to be turned into a cloudscape eventually. Um, if you're unfamiliar with my cloudscape series, welcome. Um, so cloudscapes is a series that is inspired by um, George O'Keefe. Um, I also didn't realize these influences until recently, but um, Morris Lewis and Sam Gilliam, like all these um, color field painters that are all kind of forming together my work right now. Um, they're based on real life clouds I've seen, um, thoughts of traveling and the color scene there and just the feeling I get when I um, look up at the sky while I'm traveling. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a life update. I'm in this house right now. My husband and I are renting. Um, he's taking a nap in the bedroom. Hopefully I'm not waking him up. Um, that you'll notice about my work lately is um, I'm painting these huge canvases that you guys probably saw in other videos, but um, I'm also working on like scaling it down and working on more intimate pieces as well. Um, Oh, another update is I am now a middle school art teacher. Um, so I teach sixth through eighth graders art, um, which is really fun and uh, challenging and rewarding all at the same time, especially during COVID. Um, but we're getting through it, um, especially since I work at a Title I school too, which is an interesting culture shock with my suburban um, lifestyle. So um, it's very 
um, rewarding in a lot of ways, um, but not something I want to do forever. So um, kind of my goal right now is five you know, years from now maybe. I um, really want to go get my MFAs, um, but for right now that doesn't seem very practical. Um, and so I'm just trying to work towards other goals, really investing online through social media and really making that a part of my business in my life. Like I want to make my art into my business into um, something that I can be proud to say that I'm able to work on art every day. Um, and I can't exactly do that as a middle school art teacher alone, just because it's very demanding. It's a very demanding job. Um, so it's not something, again, I want to do forever, but I'm really thankful for it right now. I think it's given me a lot of tools and a lot of um, things that I'll be able to use in the future, especially when I get my MFA and able to teach at the college level. Um, so I already feel prepared to take on that journey when it happens. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give you a few updates. If you're interested in what it's like being a middle school art teacher, uh, let me know in the comments because I will have a chit chat with you about what it's like. I'm pretty straightforward and honest about the good, good things and the bad things. Um, so hit me up. And if you're more interested in my daily life, let me know. Like, what does my daily life look like right now? Um, with COVID, with being a teacher, blah, blah, blah. Um, Thank you so much for watching, especially if you stuck to the end. If you stuck to the end this far, you should definitely give me a like and subscribe. Um, but also, just thank you for being here. You don't even have to give me that. Just the fact that you decided to stick around this long is just amazing to me. Um, yeah. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.